he has a lot of compassion, not only for his employees, but also for you know, his subcontractors and fellow builders. Well, two things, I think. He has absolute integrity in every business dealing we've ever had with him, and he is totally committed to building the best houses using the best building science that he could possibly do. Everything has to be done correctly for Jim, every time and in every way. does it with a lot of humor, but there is no cost cutting. There is no cutting of anything, and uh, that's, that's my memory of Jim is do it right every single time. No, he, he has great concern for his staff and his um, subs, and uh, he's always looking out for their best interest. Jim is the most honest builder we've ever worked with. He, had, he went out of his way during the downturn to make sure that everybody he worked with was taken care of, including my company. And I'll tell you what, that kind of honesty and that kind of willing to take the hard licks uh, makes him a leader to me in every way. Jim is a great guy to work with. He is so optimistic and we all love that, especially after what we've gone through in the last few years. I think the biggest thing about Jim is how much he really cares. Uh, Jim believes in being fair to everybody he deals with, his homeowners, uh, his co-workers, jurisdictions, uh, everybody. And uh, he just wants to make sure that, uh, that everybody gets the best situation that they can and he truly, truly believes that that can happen on every single job. The one that kind of sticks in my mind is, uh, you know, he'll look at me and he'll say, oh, just saying, and that usually comes after uh, he's just told you something you really didn't want to hear. <laughs> my current favorites are elbows and assholes out the door when somebody's in a hurry, and, um, oh, the new one is um, poke and hope. And you all can try and figure out what that means. He invited me to a football game, a UFO football game. And as we're driving down, we're talking, and, and I never did quite ask, because I didn't want to you know, raise any flags, and season tickets were hard to come by. Why did you invite me, Jim? I finally asked him, and he said very calmly and deadpan, thought you might want to watch a good football team. Me being a Washington Husky fan, that really hurt Jim. It hurt me badly, but I'm, I'm almost over it. You can invite me again now. Jim has a lot of country sayings, like, that dog won't hunt. I would think uh, the rest of our staff would back me up on this, but if we're talking about a big project, uh, a long-term strategy, something we've got that's going to take some time to get done, somebody always falls into the trap of asking Jim when he'd like to see that done, and Jim always gets a big smile on his face, and leans back, looks at his watch and says, well, it's 3.58 right now. <laughs> he meets adversity head on. Um, um, one thing that I really admire about Jim, I've known him for 25 years, I've never heard him complain, whether it's fighting cancer, dealing with business, dealing with personal issues, uh, he just meets it head on. And he just never complains. He gets up and does the things he thinks he should do every day and uh, always thinks there's better times ahead. You have good days and bad days, but Jim's reaction is pretty consistently one of appreciation. It's rare to see him rattled about anything, and, and when he is, it's usually over Ducks football. You know, during the time that Jim served on our, uh, the state ladder, he was dealing with the financial issues, he was dealing with his own personal health issues, a and what just impressed me more than I can express was the level of compassion that he brought. Even though when he was having troubles himself, he was more worried about the impact of those troubles on other people. The thing that impressed me most about Jim is his wife. Uh, she carried him through that. His strength, her heart. Jim's ability to get through that and continue to work on all the things he did was amazing. He still continued to keep that business going through some of the hardest things that ever happened to a business and that I had known and went down and ran that state association and kept it going. Uh, that kind of fight and then having people like Janice behind him, he's, it makes him, I mean, what a great guy and what a great team those two make. He's trying to be a mentor himself in showing others in the industry what to do, how to run a business, how to conduct themselves. Jim has such a commitment and passion for the home building industry and 
he is the kind of guy that always does the right thing. And I can see over and over again how he wants not just himself to do the right thing, but he wants other home builders and other contractors too. And so he um, wants them, everybody to be honest and everybody to build things right and everybody to honor their commitments. And I think he's probably pushed the organization and pushed the industry to, have, to higher standards. Jim has always believed in sharing. If we find a new technique, a new product, uh, a way to solve a problem, uh, Jim's always going to reach out to uh, other builders in the industry uh, and try to share that knowledge. Congratulations, Jim, on your award here and all your great effort. And uh, also, too, congratulations on your achievements, not only in your business, but also in your personal life as well. Here's to you, buddy. Many more. When success comes to people like Jim and Janice, you know, we couldn't be happier. We're not supposed to play favorites in my job or Dave Nielsen's job. Uh, all of our members are our members and we love them all to death. Uh, if I were to pick favorites, though, Jim would be at the top of the list. And I like to think this is just kind of a um, recognition of uh, a career to date because there's a lot of life left into him and, uh, and in his abilities and, and the company. And uh, I know he's going to do great. Uh, I'll be there right behind him, rolling my eyes sometimes. Jim, uh, nobody deserves this as much as you do. You've given everything you have to this association over the years, both the state and locally. It's always been an honor to work with you, both in business and here at the association. I want your help when I'm in the chairs. I know Nate needs you this year, so help us plug forward. Uh, we always listen to what you have to say. We appreciate the fact that you don't say it unless it's important. So hang in there with us, and we look forward to working with you in the years to come, too. Thanks for all you've done. Jim, I've had the opportunity to work with you for 20 years. Um, I can't think of anybody more deserving of this award. Um, I thank you for all the experience that I've had uh, from you and, uh, and the great example that you've been for all these years.